Welcome to Sanford Flip Math. This is the Meet the Teacher Night version for AP Calculus. Uh, so uh, we'll do a little screen sharing here so we can actually uh, have some, some, some stuff going on. A little shot of the classroom for you uh, so you know what it looks like. This is from the door. Uh, so welcome aboard. A uh, little bit of information about me. Uh, this is the beginning of year 33 for me, uh, 32 years down. Uh, I started at Renaissance, uh, taught there for 10 years, uh, taught at Lathrop for nine years. I've been at the U since 2008 when we opened the doors. It is by far the best place to work in the universe if you're a math teacher. Uh, I have taught everything from pre-algebra all the way through AP Calc, AP Stat. So uh, I've been teaching AP Calc for about 10 years. So this is not my first rodeo. Um, so just to give you an idea about how things are going to work day to day, it's going to be very much like how I teach pre-calculus. I know not everybody in here was with me in pre-calc, but um, so I do what's called flipping the classroom. Flipping the classroom basically means when you take what, you know, typically happens in a math classroom, the lecture, the examples, the discussion and stuff. And then what typically happens as homework, you know, the book work, the practice, that kind of stuff. I actually swap those. Uh, so the lecture is going to happen uh, at home. I'm not coming to your dining room, so don't freak out yet. Um, but uh, via YouTube, uh, there's a YouTube channel called Sanford Flip Math. The entire course of pre-calculus, the entire course of AP calculus is there, lecture by lecture by lecture. Uh, some, of them, some of them get updated because we've changed books. Uh, some of them we just roll with what's there, been there for a, a couple minutes. Um, and then what is typically homework we do in class. Uh, so, so the idea is as we have work time here in class, we don't have students freaking out. I don't want students to be frustrated. So this way they can get assistance either from the person sitting next to them, or if, if neither of them know what they're doing, then that's why I'm here. So uh, it is not meant to be a video only class. Uh, video is just one of the pieces of the puzzle and uh, we just roll with that. So that also means that typically we're gonna have two assignments a day. Uh, notes from the video. That's how I know that people have actually watched the video and we take notes and I just check those in like an assignment. And then there's typically a book work assignment, uh, practice, that kind of stuff. So so typically two assignments a day, not, not all the time. And those things would have happened even, even in a traditional uh, classroom. It's just, I probably wouldn't be looking at the notes. We would just be doing that stuff this way. Since it happens without me, I need to know that it happens. So uh, so Sanford Flip Math, that's the SFM, uh, and then we have book work, and uh, there will be things like occasional worksheets supplementing the book or practice tests, that kind of thing. Um, quizzes, uh, typically I like to do group quizzes. I want students to have that uh, opportunity to, yes, work on their own, but also have that interaction and talk about stuff and argue and double check and fill in their knowledge, uh, connect the dots. All of this I consider formative. Uh, so the you know the homework grades are just based on whether you're it's done or not. Not I, I'm not trying to. I I just want people to practice. Uh, so if you did the practice, you get the points, right? It's not like okay, you got 17 out of 20, so that's an 85. You got 17 out of 20, awesome. You got those right, sweet. Let's figure out what's going on with the other cup, uh, two or three or whatever, and uh, go from there. But yes, you get credit for practice. That's the 20% of the grade. The quizzes are again meant to solidify as a checkpoint, uh, to fill in gaps. Those kinds, these are all formative. We're still forming our, our knowledge at that point. So this is 20 plus 10, 30% of the grade so far. Okay. Uh, this is a screenshot or a photo rather of the book that we're using. Uh, we do have an online access for that book as well as a physical copy of the book. So uh, students should have a physical copy unless they decide, you know what, I'm just going to do the online thing because I don't want to carry it. I get it. That's all good. Okay. So assessments are the remaining 70% of the grade, which is really where we find out, do you actually know your stuff? That's, that's what that's about. Okay. So, uh, so 70% of the grade is tests. Uh, plan on a couple of tests per card marking. The occasional card marking might have three. It just depends on how things exactly fall because I'm not I'm not going to be in lockstep to the, the nine, 10 week card marking. So uh, there will probably be a project or two, especially after the AP exam in May. Um, so this is what I consider the summative part of the grade, the summary, the evaluation. This is the part where I actually go, okay, what do you actually know? That's what this is for. Okay. And uh, here's some contact information for me. 
Uh, so all of our email addresses are first name dot last name at southfieldk 12org Okay, so that's what that is. Um, a link uh, to the YouTube uh, channel, and there's a screenshot of the YouTube channel. And look at my 2012s from way back when. They're so cute. Uh, so youtube.com slash Sanford Flip Math, or you can just search Sanford Flip Math, all one word, and you'll find a little thumbnail of me. Ah, thumbnail, get it. Uh, and then the last thing I wanna say is, uh, please, 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 please check in on your students in terms of their grades, even if, you have 11th or 12th graders. I think almost all of my AP students are 12th graders. They still need that accountability. They still need that check. So please, please, please. Uh, I'm going to suggest weekly. I'm going to suggest build a habit of checking on a certain day. So like pick your, your day. Mondays are crazy. Maybe not Mondays. Maybe Mondays. Maybe Mondays because you want to set the tone for the week. Maybe Sundays so you can set the tone for the week. Maybe it's uh, checking in on Fridays, but pick your day and every week that day, check the grades on Schoology. I am going to advise you to actually go into Schoology and look at grades, not just the summary email. I don't think you get all the information there. I, I'm not, I don't know that for a fact, but I, I think you just get a summary. So I would recommend looking at the actual grades. Uh, you should have your own log in as a parent and I can give you the access code if you need it, shoot me an email, I, I can make that happen. Um, or the best thing I think is log in with your, your student, log in with your son or daughter and say, hey, let's bring up uh, Schoology, it, it's Sunday, we're gonna just do a little checkpoint so we can plan for the week, what's going on, uh, log in and you show me your grades. And as, as you see concerns, you say, what's going on with that? It is the perfect time to have a conversation. If there's stuff that you're not, feeling confident about, or you're not sure what's going on, then feel free to send me an email. The email's right there. Um, and uh, and I'll do my best to try and help you understand. And if you need to, we can set an appointment and do a little Zoom meeting, you and I, and that works also. So, so again, if you have questions, uh, let me know. And it has been lovely sharing with you. Um, and, uh, you know, this, this is what I'm here for. I'm here for you. Oh, look, I'm here in the background too. How crazy is that? So, uh, Sanford Flip, math, we're out. Bye.